equation of the median. Uh, what's the median? Starts at a vertex of a triangle, starts at a corner of the triangle, and hits the opposite side at the midpoint. Not necessarily 90 degrees, but definitely at the midpoint, which I'll use a capital M for midpoint. Okay, midpoint bisects the side into two equal bits. Okay, so we're going to, how do we get the equation of that? All right, let's try this one again. This triangle does not represent an accurate representation of these points. The triangle has vertices A, B, and C. Find the equation of the median that goes through B. So what that means is that when it goes through B, it's going to bisect AC at the midpoint. So your first step here is figuring out what is the midpoint of AC. You're going to figure out if it goes through B, it's going to be the midpoint of the opposite line segment, so the midpoint of AC. And of course, midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 for the x-coordinate, and whoops, y1 plus y2 over 2 for the y-coordinate. Remembering it's AC, don't throw B in there, we don't care about point B for midpoint. Uh, x-coordinates are negative 5 and 15. And the y-coordinates are 10 and negative 5. Okay, that's nice. And we don't make any calculator mistakes. All right, so after my intense calculations, midpoint of AC is going to be 5 and 2.5. Okay, so next thing I need for an equation, I've got one point on that line. What do I need for an equation of a line? I need the gradient. I need the gradient, the gradient of that median. I need the gradient from the midpoint to B. The gradient of the midpoint, M and B. And gradient is change in Y over change in X. And what I'm using are these two points to get my gradient. Okay, so change in Y is 2.5 minus 4. And change in X is 5 minus negative 8. Work these out. So what we get for our gradient, um, we get 1.5 1, 1 on the top, 13 on the bottom. And I'm going to keep that as a fraction because 326 is probably a little bit easier uh, than rounding that decimal that we get. That's just not a clean decimal. So I'll leave it as 326, and I'll be happy with that. Check on that, negative 326. Okay, and finally, I've got a point on the line. I've got the line's gradient, and I'm ready for the equation equation of the median, which is, we'll just call it mb, and I'll use y minus y1 again equals m times x minus x1 using this gradient, and I can use this point or this point, it doesn't matter which point I use, okay, they're both on the line so it makes no difference, um, I'll use this one just because it doesn't have a decimal, I'll say y minus 4 equals negative 326 times x minus a negative 8 means x plus 8. And I just have enough room. Expand that one through. y minus 4 equals negative 326x. Uh, this will give me negative 326 times 8 will give me negative 24 over 26, which simplifies to, all right, negative 12 thirteenths when I multiply these guys through. And finally, add 4 to the other side. y equals negative 326x, negative 12 thirteenths plus 4. What does that give me? Negative 12 thirteenths plus 4, 40 thirteenths. 40 thirteenths. And if we want to make that a decimal or a mixed number, we can. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And that would be the equation of my median through B. It has a negative gradient, and that's the y-intercept. Uh,